good, everybody? Pastor E here from Elements Church in the Bronx, and it's time for our daily devotional. So, as you know, I'm reading from uh, the devotional that we put together at Elements Church in conjunction with the American Bible Society. Awesome people. Um, it's called Transformers, Tracks on Tracks, An Urban Journey Through Scripture. And so we're on that one, we're on day three. And day three was written by our very own Carmen Sanchez. And if you want to know who Carmen is, um, you can follow her on uh, our, our YouTube page, um, Elements Church, YouTube, Elements Church. See that I did it again, Elements Church. Um, she's doing Create with Carmen. So you can check out who she is if you want to put a face to the name. But um, she wrote one called Count Your Pennies, man. And it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty dope. So just follow along with me. We're reading from the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17. And it says, Every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father who created all the lights in the heavens. He is always the same and never makes dark shadows by changing. That's interesting, right? He never makes dark shadows by changing. So Carmen writes, As I headed to a dinner recently, I saw a penny on the floor. Most people might think, it's just a penny. Not me. I saw the penny and thought, every penny adds to a dollar. But when I went to pick it up, I noticed people near and thought that they might judge me. So I decided to go in and eat. If the penny was still there when I came out, I'd pick it up. When I left the diner, however, I forgot about it and went home. Later, God reminded me that the penny plays an important role in making a dollar. If it had been a $10 bill or even a $1 bill, I wouldn't have thought about it. I'd pick it up, keep it moving. In fact, I'd have been excited to find some cash, but God showed me that his gifts don't always come as dollars. Sometimes they come as pennies. It's pretty wise. Are you willing to pick up those gifts, as small as they may be? Is it hard for you to accept gifts from others? We are God's children, and God wants to give his children good gifts. As you go about your day, see if you find a penny. Then use it to remind yourself of a gift that God has given you. Write it down and carry the reminder with you throughout the week. Lord, please help me to see. This is her prayer now. Lord, please help me to see the many blessings and gifts from you in my life. Help me not to pass them by, but to acknowledge them and to celebrate them. I know that these little blessings and gifts will bring about bigger ones. In Jesus' name, amen. So is that you? Are you not thinking about the little things and waiting just for the big things? You want that big, uh, that big hallelujah moment instead of thinking about the small ones and the things God has already blessed you with? One of the things I've been challenged with is thinking about my, my blessings, not just the big ones, but the small ones as well. And remembering them because they're important too. So we challenge you. Think about the small ones. Think about the penny, the penny blessings, if you want to call it that. The penny blessings in your life. Think about it. And um, see what happens. I look forward to hearing from you. And if you're not if you're not tuning in to all the wonderful church services after our service, I, I, I skim through everybody's service. But if you're not tuning in, you want to check us out. We're, um, you can go on the Elements Facebook page. Again, Elements Church, and you'll find us uh, every Sunday, 10:45. We start the stream, um, and you can check us out there. And if you want to join the the Zoom channel with us, let me know. Hit us up, and we'll uh, we'll give you the ID. All right. May God bless you. I may He keep you. And, and I, man, I'm praying. I'm praying for all of us during this time. Peace.